Welcome back to a new video on the channel and today we are going to be doing my championship table predictions for the 2022-23 season. Let's waste no time, let's get straight into it, let's go. So starting in the relegation zone then at 24th I'm going to go for Wigan Athletic and I think, you know, out of the three teams that came up from League 1, Wigan, Sunderland and... Who's this one? Rotherham. Um, I think Wigan, you know, looking at their squad, I think most of their players are League One players. I think that's why I put them so low down. Moving on to Rotherham, yet again, another League One team coming up from League One into the Championship. Um, you know, I think Rotherham, one of them that, you know, are always in the relegation mix if they come up to the championship um so yeah that's why we've got them in 23rd and um, next up 22nd birmingham city and this is because of all of the takeover noise in the background happening and birmingham not really getting anybody um you know hope they all get sorted out for the birmingham fans um but yeah i hope doesn't have a too big of impact on this season but I think it will that's why I put them in 22nd now we move on to 21st and upwards let's get into it so in 21st I've gone for a surprise that's going to be Huddersfield who finished in the playoffs last season um, but yeah only because they've lost the manager and they've lost two of their better players Lewis O'Brien and Harry Toffolo um, to Nottingham Forest. So yeah, it'll be a big blow for them and you know, some of the players they've brought in that I've never heard of, so I think if they can replace O'Brien and Toffolo really well and then yeah, I think they're going to struggle, but you know, that's why I put them in 21st. And next, in 20th we're going to go for and the last League 1 team to come up from last season and that is going to be Sunderland. Um, I think Sunderland, you know, they did they had quite a good lead season last season. And Alex Neil, you know, expert passing football. Um and yeah, I see Sunderland finish the highest of the League One teams coming up into the championship from last season. And yeah, I think they won't have enough to push, you know, top half, but I think they'll be alright twentieth. So for 19th to 17th we have Reading, Blackpool and Cardiff. So Cardiff finishing 17th, Blackpool finishing 18th and Reading finished 19th. Um, you know Reading they've kept Paul in surprisingly and they've got some average players. Yeah Blackpool you know I don't think they've made a sign in it. And Cardiff you know they've got quite a few signings but Will they be good quality? Then, you know, we don't know. Um, I don't think so. But yeah, that's my seventeenth. Next up in sixteenth, we have Coventry City, and you know there was rumours of them losing Callum O'Hare and Gustavo Hammer, and um, but I'm not going to keep them for now. So maybe I should have put them a bit higher up. I think they'll still in the championship for another season. Next up in 15th we have Millwall and uh, yeah obviously being a whole fan George Hunden has gone to Millwall and um, but yeah I see them having an average season you know they've obviously lost Jed Wallace who's out of contract and has gone to West Brom and um, yeah I think Millwall will have an average season um, and yeah 15th I think 
if we get higher than that then I wouldn't be surprised if we get lower than that I wouldn't be surprised either it's one end you know let's move on to the next place in 14th we have Luton Town and yes I know this might be a bit of a you know low down prediction but Luton finished I think playoffs last season nearly um, but will they be, do it, be able to do it for another season um, I don't think so um, I think there's too many teams better than them at the minute but if they do get to the playoffs then yeah again I won't be surprised 13th now we have Preston North End and yeah you know they had the girls from last season from Cameron Archer but you know he's gone back to Villa so and I think they've been linked with Callum Robinson as well so hopefully they can get girls from there and uh, yeah they had a bit of a average season last season there with them sacking the manager a few games in and then get Ryan Lowe who you know seems to have done pretty okay there. Um, so yeah, that's why I put them there. See so yeah, in twelve, I've got Hull City's first opponent, Bristol City in twelve. Um, you know Nigel Pearson seemed to drop them going out at the end of last season. We've got some players, you know, Andy Vyman, Semenya, Chris Martin. You know who used to play for Hull City too, so. Yeah, hopefully Hull City can beat them on the opening day, but I've put them in 12th. In 11th, we have Stoke City, and yeah, hmm, not don't know what really to think about them. I think got good players, you know, they can play good football at times, but I think I saw last season that they wanted the managers to be sacked at some point. But let's just see how it goes and I put them in the 11th. So now we'll move on to the top 10. And 10th is going to be Blackburn Rovers who have a new manager. Um, a former Newcastle player. I can't remember his name. Um, but I'm sure Blackburn fans will know who I mean. Um, yeah, if they keep Ben Burns and Diaz then I think they'll have a pretty good season. And may even finish higher than my predicted 10th. Um... But yeah, they've got some very good players and, you know, they was up there last season, so let's hope they can do it again. Next up in ninth we have Kupia, who seem to have fallen away last season at the end. But I think they'll have a good season this season, they've got Lyric Chair, I think Lyndon Dykes, they've got some very good creative players and if they can get them ticking and, you know, playing well then why not? even finish higher than 9th, maybe playoffs. In 8th I have come for Middlesbrough and yeah, you know Chris Wilder, he plays good attacking football with his teams, we've seen it at Sheffield United and we've seen it at Middlesbrough now. Um, it be interesting to see who, who they get in, um, to who well they've already got in. Um, but yeah, look, unfortunately missed out on playoffs last season. Um, I think they'll be the same again this season, so that's why I put them there. In seventh place now, then I have gone for Watford. Um, you know they could be losing a few of their star players. Um, you know they've got manager who was at Forest Green Rovers last season, so let's see how he adapts the championship without them quality players out there. Watford could be losing. Um, I think they released about 20 plus players on the end of last season, so not the same squad. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how they do, but I think they'll just be outside the playoffs. So now we move on to the playoff spots, and in six, I've gone for Hull City. Um, you know, the recruitment that we had last season, um, letting George Hunman go. Tom Eves go, Keen Lewis Potter has gone for 20 million um, and brought in Ozan Tufan, Seri, Alia back from last season, Baxter back from last season, Oscar Estupanan is back, um, Donican Sinek is back as well, and Benjamin Tete is rumoured to come in, and Diamond Traore too, with another one or two added to that list. 
still to be confirmed. So yeah, as a whole fan, I know this might be biased, but I'm really looking forward to this season. Um, might take a couple of few games to teams to gel, but hopefully after that, we can push on and push for the playoffs. Um, so yeah, that's why I put six. In fifth place, I have gone for Swansea, and I think I put these fifth because I know a Swansea fan, and well, not because that, but they do play some really good football, and they showed that at the end of last season, and they got the wins when they should have done. And you know, after signing half the MK Dons team, then you know they know the manager and they're playing well, playing good football. They always have Swansea. Um, so yeah, that's why I put them there, fifth. And now we get to the top four where it becomes a bit interesting. In fourth, I've gone for West Brom, who are managed by Steve Bruce, and they've managed to bring Jed Wallace and John Swift on free transfers, which is pretty good business for them. You know, already having an experienced squad. Um, but yeah, I think they'll do pretty well this season. And uh, yeah, we'll move on to third place. So in third place, I've gone for Sheffield United, who, you know, last season unfortunately missed out going to the playoff final by losing to Nottingham Forest, despite them coming back in the second leg. Um, you know, they've got a very good squad of players. They've got a manager who the players want to play for. I think that's very important. Um, but yeah, I think they'll have a good season this season and finish third. So for the top two, I've gone for Norwich in second and to win the league, I've gone for Burnley. Um, you know, both will never Premier League, both, both still got very good squads, good managers, Dean Smith and Vincent Company. I think Burnley just edge it because, you know, they've, the players they've got and, you know, the players they've signed to have been very good. If it keeps them with the players they've got, then, you know, I think they'll win the league easy. Um, but yeah, that's been my championship prediction video. Please leave a like, comment down below your predictions, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.